G'day everyone, Granitor here once again with the second game in the SH Clan tournament and um, I've brought uh, Tillis against Boyoi well uh, my opponent SH Moore he uh, chose first and he chose Boyoi so I had to bring out the big guns Tillis to uh, kind of face that didn't really want to use uh, Tillis at, at this stage but um, because it's use it lose it rule so as soon as I use Tillis, uh, they're going off the field, so can't use them anymore. But uh, I really wanted to uh, get this game done, so brought out the big guns. We'll see how it goes. For my build, I've got these raising, raiding horsemen here. Then I've got uh, my middle line is tribal warriors, all with an upgrade, so I've got six of them. Make six of the same. Then I've got the uh, two O-Sworn. And out the front I've got a meat shield of these uh, Levy Freeman. And out the back I've just got the standard Celtic Slingers there. So pretty standard kind of build for me as well. That's what I like to bring. And uh, for Boyoi, SH Moore, he's got the uh, Sword Followers out the front. Then uh, the three Oath Sworn, including his General. And uh, Naked Warrior. Then he's got the Heavy Horse. So he's got four Heavy Horse there. And he's got some uh, Levy Freeman meat shields as well. No skirmish, so we'll see how that goes. But he does have the three Ace Sworn and the uh, four uh, Heavy Horse there, which are pretty lethal to, to face the old Heavy Horse. So going to have to use my Raiding Horseman quite well in this battle and uh, try and pick their engagements properly. So we'll see how that goes. For my Gen skill, I've got the uh, Res Banner and Rally again. And uh, for more, he's got the Battle of rhythm and uh, second win there so good skill to bring but I, I do like me raise a banner and rally I think raise a banner at the start of the battle is uh, pretty vital I, I like it so just suits my style a bit better so as we can see now I'm just trying to get the um, flanks bit of a V shape going on from me there he's a bit compact so I'm going to try and get the flanks here as, as much as possible. I've got the Ace Worn out here, I've got the General in the middle. So he does have the three Ace Worn which I've, I've got to mind me P's and Q's with. I've got to uh, really tie them down. So I'm coming in here, a bit of a risky movement, but I thought I might as well try and get these uh, Levy Freeman off the field quickly. So going straight in now. Nice engagement there, didn't lose too many and uh, have tied them down so they're not a meat shield. Straight in now for the Oswan. As I said, I've got to use my horse well. <laughs> Doesn't look like it now, but I am doing some damage to them Oswan. Hit point damage and locking them up now so I can get rid of the uh, meat shields. And then come in now with the tribal warriors onto the Oswan now that they're locked up with the raiding horsemen. So I come in for a rear charge now with this raiding horseman here onto Levy Freeman. They should disappear off the field. The generals come in the middle. Meat shields first. And this Ace Sworn out here is going to chew apart the Levy Freeman and try and come back for his general. So I'm concentrating my slingers on his general at the moment. We'll see how that goes. So he brought the heavy horse out here, so the raiding horsemen are going to two on one that. And then I'm going to bring this uh, tribal warrior into the back, so I know I need these heavy horse gone. Beautiful uh, shot there from their precursors. Trouble Warriors, Levy Freeman onto the Ace Horn. So I come in now to get rid of these Heavy Horse and free up my Cav. Comes in for a nice recharge of his Heavy Horse there. So his General now is locked up with my General. I do get the Raiding Horseman in there first. Another Raiding Horseman charging the Levy Freeman. You realise me uh, slingers are doing concentrate and fire on units, especially these uh, naked warriors that are going down quite quick. As you can see now, the concentrate and fire is uh, ripping them apart. So he needs to get them out of there, and he gets his horse in a good spot here to hit the gap. But then I concentrate and fire on his heavy horse now. My general's done some work in the middle. He's got rid of that sword follower. Now pull back to Levy Freeman. 
both of them to try and guard my slingers here because he's coming in with the heavy horse. Nice precursor coming in there. I only just got them Levy Freeman back in time to protect my slingers because I realise my slingers are going to be a vital key in this battle now because I'm going to be able to get some rear charges onto his general as you can see there I've done the target straight onto his general while it's locked up with my ace sworn. The general got a um, charge by the naked warriors a fair bit there but he's uh, steadying up and he's going to end up going to that engagement out there. So on the flanks over here this uh, tribal warriors been vital in helping the uh, two raiding horsemen. Now I can come in for a rear charge on his ace swarm because this uh, tribal warrior has done an excellent job in shield wall holding off the uh, ace swarm. So he's uh, trying to get through to me slingers desperately. So he has a uh, move that heavy horse, but my um, Levy Freeman, we're going to follow that up. He's one over this flank, flank with the uh, Oathsworn and the Sword Follower. So now my Levy Freeman are going to um, pin that heavy horse down. He's come through and got the uh, Celtic Slingers there. So it's a close engagement. This Oathsworn won't give up the fight out here against his general. I've hit Headhunt. That's going to um, keep him in the fight a bit longer. This Ace Warn here has done a great job with 90 um, one men left still left in the unit. My general's coming back for rear charge on this sword follower. That should break that. And then the other sword follower um, is coming for rear charge on this trial warrior here. So now I'm coming in for a good charge under his Ace Warn there. And that's going to um, hit him in the back, so it's going to help out my troops immensely in that fight. You can see now he's trying to get rid of this host swan over here. He's done a beastly job and he just won't go. Look at him sticking in there, not losing many men. <laughs> double chevrons. Just got the yeah. Just got the double chevron then, so he's got uh, two Levy Freeman and the general under him, so I'm gonna hit shield ball, keep him in the fight a little bit longer again there. This host swan's getting shot to the pieces by my slingers into the rear. It'll start uh, taking its toll there. So he sees that and he starts bringing around the um, heavy horse to try and get rid of my slingers. This one's come back from routing. Going to get some nice flanking shots there. And I still do have some things to protect my um, slingers. These ones here will get hit, but um, not before they get a few shots off. So he comes around nicely with these heavy horse, trying to protect my slingers. <laughs> This oaf swan's still out in the flank, still tanking away. I don't know how he's still living, but he's uh, done a great job. He got recharged by two cav and all, and up against the general. But he's uh, putting up a great fight. Must have got the shield ball in the right spot and didn't derp out because he's uh, he's going to stay like a thorn in his side. So at the moment, it looks like the numbers game is uh, in my favour. We'll try and lock up this heavy horse and get some good shots off on his other heavy horse with my slingers. This ace one done a good job, but um, now it's going to get hit by this raiding horseman here. The ace one out here finally routed, but he done his job and held him up long enough for me to pull out the victory. So a good little barbarian bash there. It's a uh, good game by more. Love me barbarian bashes. They uh, <laughs> no holds barred, no fucking around, just getting straight in amongst it. That's my style of play. So yeah, so for me the uh, Oswald done excellent. My general, 244 kills, done his part real good there in the middle, and uh, keeping all my troops in the fight as well with his morale boost. My cav, raiding horseman, 112 there, excellent job, 81 there, nice slingers. Doing some good work, 61 kills, 38 and 20. And uh, even my Levy Freeman, getting some great kills on him for Levy Freeman, 40, 52, 43. And then my uh, Tribal Warriors with the one upgrade, 113, 48, 136, 119. Doing an excellent job. And that Oswald out in the flank, 231 kills. So he uh, 
definitely VIP that fella out in the flank by himself and still kicking ass. So that was good. I, I enjoyed watching him stand by himself there. It was good. <laughs> and the Ace War General for him, 85 kills. And then his Cav, his 171, done some great work. But I kind of nullified the rest of the Cav um, on that left flank of mine. And got rid of them and they didn't get many kills at all there. So this one's 76, good. He's Ace sworn uh, 281 there, 144, not bad. Um, Make a Warriors 57, not bad at all. Um, Levy Freeman getting a few kills, 31 there, not too bad. 202 for this sword follow, excellent job. Uh, 95 and 100 there, done very well. So that uh, gets me in round two. So that's 2 0 for the uh, first round of the tournament. And then. Uh, I'm going to be into the second round, so see how I go there. Um, but I did lose Tillis, can't use them again, and Lusitani, so my two best factions, you might as well say, other than uh, Boyoi, that I'm uh, good at using, I might as well say I'm like my barbarian factions, so I'm going to have to uh, rely on Boyoi and uh, just use my other factions towards the end if I do get in the semis and the finals and try and get a, uh, a decent melee build with them so we'll see how it goes so thank, thanks uh, SH Moore for the battles mate very good game, very good bloke, got a lot of time for him and uh, hope you enjoyed them and I'll bring you the next round two games very soon I'll talk to you then